Hey, it's Alina from Exmate Mastery. And today I want to talk about how to get a hover style report uh, from hover or anybody that sends you an ESX file, how you can take that report and import it into Xactimate. But not only that, if you had an existing estimate that you've already been working on, and then you receive the hover measurements or some other service sends you an ESX, how you can actually merge those two files. We'll look at how to do the import and then also how to merge. So let's go take a look in Xactimate. So just so we can start with step one and go all the way through the process, I'm going to start with the hover file here or whatever ESX file that someone sends you. You want to go ahead and download that from your email and put it on your desktop or in a folder somewhere. It has to exist on your desktop before you can do the import. Then it's as simple as pulling up your dashboard here in Xactimate, dragging that file over and dropping it. That's how you can do that import of that ESX or the measurements right into the program. And it's super, super simple. Now, the problem with that is if you've already worked on another estimate. So I've started this Mr. Anderson estimate. If I want that hover to come into the estimate, it's two projects now. So what you need to do is merge the projects. And it's a little tricky if you haven't done it before. So that's why I was really excited to create this video. So right now, Mr. Anderson won't have any measurements in it. Let's go in there and let me just show you here in the sketch. So there's no measurements here. We're waiting for the hover. Hover just arrived. So we can go ahead and import the hover, click on both the hover and Mr. Anderson, and look, new options come up in your dashboard window. So if I just have one selected, you've got all this myriad of options. But if you have two or more selected, you can actually merge multiple projects. You have the merge option, option pop up. So that's not there if you just have one project selected. So we're going to click on merge. It's going to pull up the wizard. And we can go ahead and go to next. And the source project versus the merging project. If the source project has all of the work done in it and also already has the homeowner or property owner's name, you want that to be the source because Hover would overwrite some of the information or even clear out some of the information I found. It's kind of interesting how this works. So make sure your source project is you know, where your baseline is. So Mr. Anderson, I, I've already filled out all of that claim info and everything. So I want to go ahead and use that as my source and then the hover will merge into it. Now I'm going to merge into the source project right here, you can see, but also you can start a new project. So I just want to give you that option. So if you're a little nervous, you're like, Ooh, I don't want to mess with all that work that I just did in the, the Mr. Anderson estimate. I could start a new one, may, maybe name it Mr. Anderson two, something like that so that I have clean files. Uh, but today I'm just going to show you how to go merge into the source project. So I'm going to go ahead and click on finish down here. Now, of course, if you had multiple, projects that you were merging, you would need to worry about the order and all of that, and definitely would merge into a new project if I had more than one, but uh, just want to make that side note. So we'll finish that here, and it will go ahead and pull that sketch into Mr. Anderson. So you can see I still have the project name correct, and we can go and look at the sketch. Now, when you look at my screen, you're going, <laughs> Alina, nothing happened. Well, that's true. It looks like that. And I got a little frustrated when I was working with this because I kept on merging and no sketch was coming in. However, if you go down to the bottom left down here where it says sketch, you can drop down the list and you will see that the roof measurements did come in on a separate sketch page. So it started another page in your sketch as if you were, let's say, drawing on like a pad of paper on the wall and then you flipped that pad of paper over and we're started a new page that's kind of what's happening here with this this down here below in the sketch so we're not adding even another level it's adding another page now what that does to your estimate items grouping tree is it gets kind of messy so you can go into your sketch if you have these multiples that happen i can go ahead and delete the multiples if this happens to you and if it looks like a mess, don't worry, you can clean it up. And then now if I go over to my estimate items, I just have one of those. And then of course we can go ahead and go to the properties and you can rename the sketch page and do some other things if you need to. But the sketch is there. It's just not on your main sketch. It adds, adds that new page to it when you perform the merge. So just to let you know, you do need to do a little bit more digging. Don't take it at face value, but there we go. Now we have our measurements imported and we're ready to rock and roll.
Hope you found that useful. I think there's a little bit of testing you need to do on your own, whether you want to use a source project or start new projects when you do the merge, but you will find that you save a lot of time instead of having to bring in the hover and use that as your source project if you've already done work on another project. Now, if you just go ahead and bring in that new hover and you haven't started a new estimate, just use the hover estimate. Just rename it and rock and roll in that estimate instead. So I didn't really show that to you because it's it's pretty easy. You just open the estimate and start and start growing. So uh, that's the easiest way to do it. But I know some people like to do preliminary work where they're waiting for measurements to come in. So that is how you do that. Also, it's useful out in the field if you're an adjuster and you want to maybe merge in a contractor's estimate or vice versa. You can do something like that using this tactic as well. It doesn't have to just be measurements. My name is Alina Wilson with Eximate Mastery. If you like this topic, of course, please like this video and subscribe for future updates. I try to release a video uh, every week on Tuesdays. So hope you guys have a really great week in your business and I will see you next week.